guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the lateral braid or the vickle braid in the round. And if you take a look at my work here, you can see this pretty little row of what appears to be chain stitches that separates our ribbed cuff from our mitt, and that just wraps all the way around our mitt. And I do have a video for the lateral braid already on my YouTube channel. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to work it in the round and how to join it invisibly. And I'll show you that join. If we stretch it out here, you can see the beginning of our lateral braid was here, and then the ending was here, and our join is right here above this knit stitch. So it's almost invisible. So I'm going to show you how to do this technique. And if you are interested in this pattern that I'm working on today, these are the Mirkwood mitts, and these are have been designed to go with the Mirkwood hooded scarf. So I'll put a link to both of those patterns in the description on this video for you. Okay, let's get started. So what I've done here is I've knitted my cuff to my gloves, and in the pattern, I have you work the ribbing on size 8 needles in one by one rib. And before we begin our lateral braid, the pattern is going to tell you to switch to size 5 needles. And the reason for this is we want our stitches in the very last row of our ribbing to be nice and tight because these are the stitches that are going to make up our lateral braid. So we don't want these loose and messy. But another reason for that is it's going to tighten up the next row of stitches, which is the actual stitches that we're knitting when we're doing our lateral braid. And those stitches will appear just above that lateral braid. And if you take a look here, they've blocked out really nice and they're pretty much the same gauge as the rest of our knitting. And the rest of the glove is actually knitted on size 10 needles. So we're going from a 5 to a 10. So you can see just how loose that lateral braid makes our stitches above it. Okay, and this will make sense as I show you the technique. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our stitches set up. I'm actually working in magic loop, but you can do this on DPNs. And the first two stitches of your round should be a knit and then a purl. Now for your repeat of your lateral braid, it says to skip the first stitch and work into the second stitch on your left hand needle. And we're actually going to knit through the back loop of that second stitch. So I'll rotate my work here so you can see better. So we're going to knit through the back loop. Tighten up your working yarn. Pull that loop through. And do not drop that knit stitch off your needle. Now we're going to insert our needle into the first stitch that we skipped through the front loop and knit it. So now we've created two knit stitches on our right hand needle. Now we can pull off the two stitches off of our left hand needle. So there's one and there's two. There we go. And then the final step of this lateral braid repeat is to slip purl wise the last stitch on your right hand needle back onto your left hand needle. And now we're ready to begin that repeat again. So skip the first stitch on your left hand needle, insert your needle through the back loop of that second stitch, knit, leave it on your needle, knit the first skipped stitch. Now you have two more stitches and you're going to pull off one, two stitches. Then you're going to slip purlwise that last stitch back onto your left hand needle. And that's the end of the repeat. So we'll begin again. Skip your first stitch. Knit through the back loop of the second stitch, leave it on your needle, knit the first skipped stitch, now remove those two stitches, and then slip it back onto your left hand needle. So you can see here that lateral braid already beginning to form, and we're just going to continue this repeat all around our glove knitting through the back loop of the second stitch and then knitting the first and then pulling those stitches off our needle and slipping the last stitch back on. So I will meet you at the end of this round and I'll show you how we finish this up and join it. Okay, so I've reached the last two stitches on my left hand needle 
last two stitches of the row and I'm going to skip the first stitch on the left hand needle and knit through the back loop of the second stitch and then knit through the first stitch that I skipped and pull those off the needle. So I am done with my round of my lateral braid and now I'm ready to join it. And since I'm working magic loop, I need to pull my needle through to get that last stitch of the round situated. You won't have to do this if you're using DPNs. Okay, so here's the last stitch of our round and here's the first stitch of our round on our left hand needle. Now, if you take a look, let me get this where you can see it better. The very first stitch of our lateral braid is right here. You can see both loops of that sideways V. We're actually going to insert our right hand needle down through the center of that lateral stitch. Okay, straight through. So you can see we're not catching any yarn, we're just going right through the center of that lateral braid stitch and we're going to yarn over our needle and pull up a loop. Oop, this can be a little tricky. There we go. So you can see that's coming out of the inside of that first lateral braid that's just below the first stitch on our right hand needle. So we've pulled up a loop. Now we're going to take our left hand needle and insert it through that last stitch of our round that we finished with and we're going to pass that over the loop that we just pulled up through the lateral stitch. So we've basically increased one stitch and then we've bound off that stitch. So your stitch count should not change for this final round. Now you can place that last bind off loop, as it were, back onto your left hand needle and you're ready to continue with the pattern that you're working on for this glove. And if you take a look, you can see where we've joined our lateral braid we look all the way around, it's pretty seamless. You can see the first stitch of the lateral braid that goes around and then the last stitch that it ends with and those are joined by this vertical bar, basically our bind off that I just showed you. And as you can see, since we dropped down three needle sizes to do our lateral braid, the stitches that are resting just above that lateral braid will be nice and tight and we can switch to our larger needles and knit off of this and that should give us a nice even tension in our pattern. So that's how you create a lateral braid or a vickle braid in the round. I hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching.